Identifying male and female birds can be difficult sometimes, so let's look at what signals we can use and what to do if we still don't know. Color. The easiest and least invasive method is to look up the species of bird and see if there are physical differences between biological males and females. In lots of species, they are really obviously different from each other and you just need to know which one you are looking at. There are many birds where males and females are totally different colors. In Eclectus parrots, the males are green and females are red and purple. In Scarlet Tanagers, males, females, and juveniles look the same in most seasons, but in breeding season, the male turns bright red, and other birds look amazing in their own ways. Ornaments Some species have an obvious difference between males and females, like the tail on a male turkey, the boomers on a sage grouse, the tail on a peacock, the tail on a widow bird, the everything on some birds of paradise. Spurs. These are extensions of the metatarsal bone that are covered in keratin. They're found on chicken-like birds, turkeys, pheasants, peacocks. They are generally big on males and small on females, but there are a few exceptions. Ultraviolet feathers. It's worth mentioning that some species of birds look completely different, but only in ultraviolet light. Birds can see ultraviolet, and we can't. So some birds look completely different in ultraviolet light. A bird like the blue tit looks exactly the same to us, but in ultraviolet light, the males are more reflective on these body regions. We can only tell by looking at an ultraviolet camera. A factor that makes even this simple identification difficult is that all juveniles may share traits with females. Juveniles won't have big spurs. They won't have the ornaments like big tails. If they are any adult color, it will probably be the female color. Different species have different juvenile traits. Just make sure you're not misidentifying a young male because it hasn't developed its adult traits yet. And if you want the most obvious physical difference of all, females lay eggs. If there is one bird and one egg, you have 100% identified it as a female. Subtle physical differences. Many bird species are dimorphic, but you have to look up the specific signals. Normal color zebrafinch males have orange cheek patches, while females do not. Also, all juveniles do not have cheek patches. Budgies have a different sear, the patch of skin above their beaks. Males have a blue sear, females have a pink sear, though all juveniles have a blue sear. Barn owls. Males are lighter in color, females are darker, but there is some overlap. Common grackle. Males have slightly longer tails and slightly glossier or more purple feathers on their wings. American robins. Males are more vivid in color, with brighter orange bellies and darker black heads. No obvious differences. There are many, many birds that look exactly the same. No obvious physical differences at all. I don't count size as an obvious physical difference. In some of these birds, one will be larger than the other. For example, male macaws are larger than females. Female bald eagles are larger than males but they blend together in the middle. The largest females are larger than the smallest males or vice versa. Blue and gold macaws, bald eagles, American crows, Canada geese, common tern, rock pigeon, Adelie penguins, Lysan albatross, blue jays. A human expert could probably study these species and have a better than 50% chance of getting it right. But birds seem to be able to reliably figure it out. There's probably some clue that birds use that we don't know to look for. And it could be anything. It could be smell, it could be flight pattern, body shape, or maybe they just ask each other. This is one area where birds know way more than we do. If you want to know how a veterinarian would identify a male or female bird, they would almost certainly do a DNA test. 
A laboratory can examine bird DNA to find certain chromosomes. If there are two Z chromosomes, it's a biological male. If there's a Z and a W chromosome, it's a biological female. This test is both cheap and effective, so it's what the pros use. I hope you learned something worth knowing in this video. You can identify another video to watch on this channel, and you can test the subscribe button to know if there's more helpful videos coming out. Thanks for stopping by this week to learn what makes life awesome.